Hey folks, Todd Martin here, your local Louisville real estate broker, and I appreciate you stopping by my blog this month. Now, this month, I want to get into today's topic, and that is when a pending sale goes bad. Now, we've all been driving the neighborhood, and we saw that sign and said, oh gosh, I wish I had an opportunity to get into that house before it went under contract. And lo and behold, when we drive through, guess what? We see it's for sale again. The pending sign has come down. And a lot of people always ask me, they say, you know, what is the reason that a sale goes south? Well, the first and foremost one that we run into a lot is seller's remorse, uh, especially new buyers. A lot of times they get into it, they get overwhelmed at the process, and they'll pull the trigger to remove themselves from that property contract. The second thing is, is anytime that a buyer buys a property, they have the opportunity to do a home inspection. And if that home inspection reveals some details that they're not willing to deal with and the seller's not willing to fix, they can and usually do remove themselves from that contract. Now, the thing that is always difficult is if you've got two parties that are willing to purchase a property for an agreed to price and the appraisal comes back short. And in some cases in the market, um, we've seen appraisals come back as low as $15,000 under the contract price. Now that's always a, a tough nut to crack, but uh, sometimes we can get that worked out, but a lot of times we can't because people just don't want to bring that extra money to the closing. And that can be an issue. The other thing too is some contracts are built on a contingency. What a contingency is means I want to buy your house, but I have to sell mine in order to do that. So if their house fails to sell, they can't purchase this other one because there's not enough money in order for them to do that. And then finally, the last one that usually has an issue with it is loan rejection. Now, I know a lot of people out there have gotten contracts that say loans are pre-qualified. There's a difference again between a pre-qualification and a pre-approval. We can talk about that a little bit later. But what that means is once the loan officer has gone in and they have pulled all the records and then they've given that information to the title company, the title company looks and there might be a judgment judgment or a lien on the individual that nobody really knew about. Unfortunately, it's just popping up now at the last minute. So there you have it. Those are the most common reasons that a contract can and usually does fall apart. Now, again, I want to remind you, go ahead and send me your questions. You can send them either via email to Todd at Todd M Group, or if you're watching this in Facebook, simply click in uh, below and uh, put a comment in there and I'll reach back out to you. And if we choose your question to be answered on a video, we'll send you a $10 Starbucks gift card just for your troubles. Appreciate it. So again, if you happen to know anybody looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, don't keep me a secret. I'm always here to help. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to speaking with you soon.